Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all things skin. Um, it's been a long time coming. I have used so many products over the past few months that now I have narrowed it down to my favorite skincare products. Now, I like to keep it simple and I don't like too many steps in my skincare routine. So I'm going to be sharing with you my skincare routine and also some additional options. I have affordable as well as very expensive skincare here. So it really depends on your budget and what sort of brands you gravitate towards. Now I'm not going to be talking about masks and scrubs in today's video because I very rarely use those. So for all of you listening, if you are a normal to dry to very dry skin, then this is the right video for you because I personally love very hydrating, thick, moisturizing products, okay? So any of you having acne prone skin or any sort of sunspots or blemishes, I'm not your girl because honestly, I do not have any skin issues as such. I did have acne prone skin when I was, I think when I was actually in my late teens, I wanna say like 19, 20, I got really, really second degree acne, very um, heavy acne on my face, but I went to a dermatologist for that because I knew that over the counter, um, creams would not help me. So I did visit a dermat and I got myself treated, got cleanups, got um, medical grade, you know, creams and stuff like that. And after that, like a year or two, I did not get acne as such. It's very important to visit a dermatologist if you're going through an extreme skin issue. Uh, because just using over-the-counter creams are not gonna help. You have to know your skin type, you have to know what you're dealing with, and then you have to tackle that problem using certain products. Just because someone's recommending a product to you does not mean you have to go ahead and use it on your face. Keep in mind what skin you have. If you're not sure, I highly recommend finding a dermatologist around you and visiting them. So it's been pretty good. My skin has been pretty clear. The only thing I have is dryness. Nothing else that I can really complain about. Also, I am 31 years old and I just had a baby. I'm four months postpartum. I have not had any cosmetic surgery done to my face. No Botox, no fillers, no surgery whatsoever okay this is our natural also i don't use a lot of actives yet so i won't be talking about retinol salicylic acid tretinoin i'm not going to be speaking about that yet because i don't include that in my skincare routine let's move on to my skincare routine and what i've been loving lately i don't use toners i don't know why i just i'm too lazy to use them or i think they're just I don't know. <laughs> so I skip toners. I do have ton of them, but in my personal skincare routine, I start with a cleanser and then I use a serum, moisturizer, face oil, and then a sunscreen. Okay, that's how I use it in order. Now, um, makeup removers. Let's talk about that for a bit. Earlier, I used to use, of course, all of us use cotton, micellar water, etc. I still have some micellar water in my bathroom to use the tough kajal and liner that I use, but in general, I've stopped using cotton pads and wipes to remove my makeup gone are those days i love using cleansers and cleansing balms to take off my makeup it's a much gentler process and it doesn't strip the skin off so the first one is a cult favorite and if you've not used this you've not experienced beautiful makeup removing process because it is so stunning i'm talking about none other than the clinique take the day of cleansing balm this has been my favorite makeup remover for years now i remember using this when i started my channel and it is still to date my favorite cleansing balm to remove makeup okay if you have like stubborn makeup dark makeup smoky eye whatever it is this is your this is your guy okay so how you use this is you take a massive scoop of this you want to massage it and you want to apply this directly on the makeup you do not want to use water yet okay you want to break the makeup down very well and then you want to use water to sort of emulsify it and just like massage it into the skin you give it a wash and your face is super clean without any makeup without leaving your skin dry which is very important for me now once you've used that to take your makeup off you want to go in with another cleanser it's called double cleansing to make sure all your makeup is out and I recently ordered the Kiehl's ultra facial cleanser this is the one right here and I love the ultra facial moisturizer you know that I was like let me just give this a shot it is one of the best <laughs> cleansers I've come across again so this removes makeup and I did not know that I just thought it would be a good face wash slash cleanser it is it's very gel like and very thick in formulation but 
I enjoy using this product. I look forward to cleansing my face when I use this because it just um, cleans and everyday makeup looks so well. Like something like this would come off so easily with this cleanser. It says here gentle liquid formula that cleanses without over drying or stripping the skin. They have squalane, they have apricot, kernel oil, vitamin E, avocado oil and it just dissolves excess oil, dirt, debris and yeah maintains the skin's natural balance which is fantastic i genuinely enjoy this product and it's been like a week i think or two i've been using this and i cannot put it down so yeah if you're looking for a nice makeup remover and a cleanser i think this is the one to go and then right after cleansing i will go in with a serum and i have been loving the 82 east go to cola dew revitalizing toner serum and it has go to cola and niacinamide so it says toner serum great <laughs> because I don't use toner. I'm down to here now that means I really like it. I just love the way it feels and go to cola in general is a fantastic ingredient. So go to cola is basically centella asiatica. I hope I'm pronouncing that right but I will read off of it so that you know what I'm saying is correct. Go to cola can reduce the appearance of stretch marks. It is thought that the terpenoids found in go to cola increase collagen production in the body and it's very important to have collagen in the body. This may help prevent new stretch marks from forming as well as heal any existing marks of course there are more benefits of go to cola slash centella asiatica i don't know about the reducing stretch marks but i used to postpartum i used to just put it on my tummy uh, now i don't know if that works because i still have stretch marks and i used to just play around with it but it's a very light weight product on the skin it's very dewy i love this sort of an appearance on my skin i love to look like a glazed donut every single time and this is something i loved just a wet beautiful hydrating product on the face now if i'm feeling particularly dry i will go in with the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 Okay, so either I will use the go to cola or I will use um, hyaluronic acid. Okay, so either or when it comes to my serum, I love using HA as my active because it's a very skin friendly product. All skin types can use it. You can use it at any point. It's a very non-intimidating product or active if I may. Okay, and this one from The Ordinary specifically is something that I like. I have finished bottles and bottles of it. It's important to note that when you're applying hyaluronic acid, you want to apply it on damp skin and not on dry skin because hyaluronic acid essentially pulls moisture from your skin and brings it forth on your skin. Okay, so damp skin, it always feels better when you apply it because if you apply it on dry skin, it'll just evaporate in air which is not what you really want. So this is an easy going product, very good for all skin types and uh, just a fantastic active in general. And it also makes the skin very plump and supple and bouncy. Anytime I put HA on my skin, it's very plump, which is what you, it gives you that bounce and that's what HA does. And then after my serum, I go in with a moisturizer. It is very essential to use moisturizer. Skip all of this, but use moisturizer. It's something that I cannot do without. I don't know how so many people just wash their face and go about their day. I'm just like, girl, that's dry as hell. You know, you gotta get some moisturizer on your face, no matter what skin type you are. Every skin type has a specific moisturizer that's good to them. But for me, I love a very thick moisturizer. Not so thick that it is sticky on my face, but thick enough to be absorbed into the skin as well as leave a nice film on my skin. I just love a good glazed donut vibe. So I've been loving this moisturizer a lot lately. It's my second tub. This is the Saturday Skin Carrot and Niacinamide Moisturizing Cream. This is the one. It is beautiful. This is my second one that I have completely finished to the I scrape. Can you see that? Like nail marks. It's so good, guys. It is very, very yummy. It's a yummy feeling. The minute you dip your hand in it, you will just feel the thickness, the luxness of the product. I don't know how to describe it, but it's super luxe feeling on the skin and it really moisturizes the skin and keeps it on for a very long time. I've been trying this one lately and this is the Simple Skin Quench Sleeping Creme. It says 100 hour hydration. Like I just don't read all of that, but this is for 499, 500 rupees and it's nice. I like it a lot. I have been using it. Look, you can see I've hit pan on this. Look, look, look. And it's a nice luxurious glass bottle. It looks pretty cute and simple as a brand in general is very highly recommended, um, recommended all over. So I thought I'd give it a shot. So I bought this the other day and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, of course, it's not very thick and it's not like my usual 
moisturizers that I love but I ended up using this a lot and when I top it off with a face oil it's just magical okay so in case you're looking for an affordable moisturizer um, I know there's so many expensive ones but this is one of the very few affordable ones that I actually really like I think this is for dry skin but of course you can use it it's very lightweight and amazing and adding moisturizer is a must now right after I've used my moisturizer I love to go in with a face oil Okay, now you can skip to a sunscreen if you think your moisturizer is enough. And I have been loving this face oil. This is the Radiant Rani Brightening Saffron Serum by Ranavath. Look, it's empty. It is one of the most stunning face oils I have come across. Um, it has saffron in it. It's a saffron serum. It smells like a beautiful, luxurious saffron, you know. And it's just, it leaves a glow to the face. Like it leaves that... I don't know how do I explain it to you. It's the best is I have a little bit. I'll just apply it for you. It's so stunning. That gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I just, I could not get enough. Look how beautiful that is. I personally, oh, so nostalgic. I use the entire bottle, so I love it. I personally could not get enough of this. Um, it's again, lightweight, but very hydrating on the skin it's not sticky it's not greasy it's very important that your face oils are not sticky or greasy or icky feeling you know you want your face to feel like a spa like you've just come out of a facial and this is one of the most stunning serums and i absolutely love it i will find it and link it down below it's on the high end side but it is so good i use this in the day and the night i really don't have a specific am and pm routine I'm that girl, okay? And I know a lot of y'all will come for me <laughs> that you gotta use specific stuff. But honestly, like I said, it's worked for me so far. My skin looks amazing. Now that's one face oil I love, but I also love squalane. The ingredient squalane is one of my favorite ingredients in a product. We also have it in the Masic Beauty Skin Juice. And I also love this face oil, which is the ordinary 100% plant-derived squalane. I love this face oil. I don't know how many bottles I have finished. I have no idea, I've lost count. I've used multiple, it's such a lightweight oil. Now this is where the lightweight comes in. I feel like an oily skin type can also use this oil because it is so beautiful on the skin. Um, and so I either use the Ranava one or I use Squalane. It really depends on what I'm feeling. I love the ingredient Squalane. So Squalene is already present in our body and as we age, it starts to deplete. So that's why Squalane uh, sort of adds to the hydration and moisturization in the skin and sort of uh, helps with that uh, depletion. Okay, and in simple terms, it's fantastic. If you find Squalane in any product, get it. It's one of the best ingredients just for hydration and it hydrates your skin without clogging your pores which is one of the best things right because you you always feel like oils are too heavy it clogs the pores squalane doesn't do that it's very lightweight it's beautiful and so this is also one of my favorite face oils i've come across by the ordinary okay once that is done i go in with an under eye serum now i'm not a huge fan of under eye creams or serums multiple times i skip it i don't really wear it but i have an option if you do and i have been trying this one which i really like i actually finished 50 percent of it this is the ordinary multi-peptide eye serum and i'm down to here now i just give it a shot now i don't know if it worked on my dark circles or what's the scene but i use it anyway it's good for the under eye and it hydrates my under eye and those are the two things i love so i add it just as a good to add in my skincare routine it's not necessary for me to have an eye cream I just apply my face oil underneath. That's how quick I want my skincare routine to get over. But yeah, this is one of the eye creams I've been using. Like I said again, not sure if it's beneficial or not, but it's good to have hydrated, hydration under your eye. So to finish off, my last step would be sunscreen. This is the Minimalist SPF 60 sunscreen with silymarin and hyaluronic acid plus vitamin E. And this in specific is pregnancy safe. It's written on the website and so I just snatch it up and this is my second tube i really used it um in the second half of my pregnancy and i really liked it so it's very good lightweight it doesn't have a white cast which is fantastic um and safe for pregnant pregnant women and you can just massage it into the skin and it literally has no white cast it is just very lightweight and good leaves a nice glow on the skin and spf is so essential and i learned this very late in my life i was not put in the habit of wearing spf since i was a child i was just taught to put spf when you're going to the pool 
इट वॉज जस्ट थिंग स्विमिंग पूल है तो एस पी एफ है बाकी नहीं है सो एस पी एफ इज योर नंबर वन सीक्रेट टू एंटी एजिंग पीरियड ओके इफ यू डोंट पुट एस पी एफ यू आर कॉलिंग फॉर ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ सन डैमेज मलाजमा सो मेनी थिंग्स टू हैपन टू योर स्किन वैन यू कैन वेरी मच एक्सटेंडेड और अवॉइडेड ऑल टूगेदर इफ यू पुट अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ सनस्क्रीन ऑन द डेली वेदर यूर इनडोर्स और आउटडोर्स दिस इज ऑलवेज सन कमिंग थ्रू द विंडो एंड इवन इफ यू स्टेप आउट फॉर बिट जस्ट मेक इट अ हैबिट टू पुट ऑन एस पी एफ एज द लास्ट स्टेप ऑफ योर स्किन केयर रूटीन सो नो मैटर वे यू गो यूर ऑलवेज प्रोटेक्टेड एंड फॉर लिप बाम हाउ कैन आई फो गैट आई हैव बिन यूजिंग द लिनेज लिप स्लीपिंग मास्क and this is in mango now lenesh has sent me tons of the lip masks uh, the strawberry one the green apple one they're okay but the mango one are you kidding me like i am uh, i cannot stop using this whenever i use this i'm always asked what is that on your lip on stories or even veronica's like what have you just put it's this one right here it is so glossy and buttery and hydrating it's the perfect lip mask if you suffer with dry lips and chapped lips forget that it says lip sleeping mask just put it on the entire day it's so good put it in your bag they have mini versions of it they also have tubes now that have come out and i have the one in peach which i absolutely love but i always have lip balm on my lips i don't need to say that my ogs already know it so that was my skincare routine now am and pm i use the same products to be very honest with you whenever i get some new product in pr or whether i find some product fascinating i buy a lot of skincare as well i sort of switched out and i tried out for some time so i'm very flexible with my skincare uh, products but so far this is what i have been using and it has worked for me fantastically i like to stick to known brands i like to stick to brands that have little to no fragrance uh, fragrance doesn't bother my skin it does well but i like to stick to very minimal to no fragrance in my skincare products that's those are two things i watch out for now let's move on to my favorite skincare products i'm going to give you options of everything that i spoke about and you can decide what fits your budget and your favorite brand as well so for cleanser i have been loving the ordinary glucoside foaming cleanser and i have it's empty I love this cleanser. It's super safe to use. You can also use this on your babies. They say it's that safe to use, and it's just a very feel-good cleanser for sensitive skin. Now, it does not remove makeup. It just cleanses your face really well, and it does not strip your face. You can use this how much ever you want, and it still stays hydrated and not very cracked and dry. Any cleanser that absolutely strips your oil away and creates a lot of lather, and then you feel like. You know that crepey sand feeling that is not my favorite and it's not good to use such a harsh cleanser on your face. You want to maintain the hydration on your face. So use a hydrating cleanser. And I really like the glucoside one and the fact that I finished it says a lot about it because I like to use a cleanser on my skin uh and not over the counter face washes. Um I used to use a lot of neem face wash and stuff stuff but I've moved on and graduated to products that actually care about the ingredients and just like is neutral has not a lot of fragrance and cleans the face and does its job and the ordinary is such a well known brand for skincare they do a lot of research behind their products and they're backed by so much credibility that i cannot help but trust the ordinary so i absolutely love it it is over i have one more cleanser for you which also takes off makeup and this is the 6 am glow double duty cleanser it dissolves makeup and cleanses it's got hyaluronic acid and kiwi I actually like 6 AM Glow. This sort of new one, I'm fascinated with this brand. I like it. I like to see what they come out with next. But I love the packaging. It's very playful and this also breaks down makeup, but it breaks down very light makeup. I'll be honest with you. I think um something like a concealer blush, it would take it off very easily. Uh it's not very good for mascara and heavy smoky eye in my personal opinion, but again, a very very good cleanser just in case you want to try something new. Um if you want to give this brand a shot i think this is one of their better products uh, that they have and yeah it's a double duty gel foam to cleanser and it's great okay let's talk moisturizers my favorite part i love moisturizers i love i love i love and i always look um into new brands and i always want to try a new moisturizer because that's just my favorite um product in a skincare routine so recently i purchased the dew in my defense barrier building skin food it is soothing calming strengthening and nourishing now i just started using this like a week and a half ago so i don't have much to say about this but i just wanted to mention it it's very expensive it's for 3500 if i'm not mistaken it's a supremely lightweight moisturizer it definitely hydrates the skin but it's not 
that thick glossiness that I usually look for but um, a lot of people love it and have been loving it and it's been around town it's been very spoken about so I thought let me just get this and see what um, it does for my skin but it's got a lot of ceramides in it it's but um, it's a good one it's a good one and if you want to just give this a shot I think you should it's a good size as well very cute packaging just to carry around with you so yeah I'm continuing to use this it's I've not stopped using it which is a good sign so you can check this one out as well okay the next one is the bioderma atoderm intensive balm okay this is a smaller tube i usually get the big chunky large tube because i love this moisturizer this is for um, very dry irritated to atopic sensitive skin okay so it is on the thicker side so i wouldn't recommend uh, someone with an oily skin to use this because it is very thick but it is also very balmy and very soothing and it is delicious um, I finished an entire tube and I repurchased this in a smaller size so I can travel with it it's amazing under makeup but um, also amazing generally as a nighttime beautiful moisturizer before you go to bed so this is one option I have for you in a smaller size so worth it the next product is the Haru Haru Wonder black rice hyaluronic cream ultra deep technology look at how cute this is oh my goodness it's a coffee but um, again I have used it all the way like you can see I've gone all the way to the bottom and there's still a lot left so it's a good quantity it's a 90 ml product and it felt really good on the skin and I've used a lot the fact that I kept it in my bathroom says a lot anything that I keep in my bathroom I know I'm gonna use it again and again so I've really enjoyed using this moisturizer and it's just it's an amazing product if you want to try a new Korean brand and it's again lightweight okay it's not one of those thick moisturizers that I usually use so again this can be used by a lot of you it's a very fun product to even gift look at look, look at how cute okay so those were my moisturizers I kept it simple for you uh, we're gonna move on to face oil now another face oil that I have been absolutely really loving actually is the Dromin's Dromin and Co apothecary apothecary rose apothecary anyway this is the oh my glow face oil formulated with natural vitamin c Ooh, so there was vitamin c in this but i've enjoyed using this one i have come all the way to the bottom okay i just got this one in my drawer and i was like let me just give this a shot and it really was nice to use on the face i enjoyed it i didn't enjoy the fragrance a lot it's got a lemony fragrance but I really liked it it says tighten spores even skin tone treats hyperpigmentation smooths the skin promotes health, healthy collagen production boosts cell restoration reverses the effects of sun damage helps maintain healthy skin barrier and quick absorbent that's a lot of claims but I have used the entire bottle and my skin has loved it all right moving on to the last category sunscreens I have two sunscreens for you kept it simple this is the Lacme Sun Expert Ultra Matte Lotion SPF 50 I enjoy using this I just like how it makes my skin feel and it has no white cast and it's SPF 50 which I love and I don't know if it's pregnancy safe you want to make sure you're reading and doing your research very well I just used this sunscreen in my pregnancy the minimalist one because it just said pregnancy safe on the website any other sunscreen you pick and choose you want to see if you're pregnant or lactating you want to check if it's safe for you to use so typically you want to avoid these three ingredients if you're pregnant or breastfeeding uh, oxybenzone octocrylene and avobenzone I think um, these three I will have it mentioned on the screen now these ingredients also have other names which brands put on and you can't tell so you want to make sure you're reading that the brand says pregnancy safe but apart from that it's light it's non-sticky all skin types it's good I enjoyed it I don't know what else to say it's a sunscreen it has a slight white cast but it does disappear and looks good on the skin so I have one more sunscreen this is the dot and key vitamin C plus E super bright sunscreen it's got SPF 50 again and they have the watermelon one but I truly did not enjoy that one I like this one much better it's got triple vitamin C no white cast active vitamin D receptors fragrance free somehow I've been using vitamin C in my products <laughs> 
but this is great i think it leaves such a beautiful glow on the skin i put this uh, when i'm going out you know when i have to apply my makeup so what i do is i apply the moisturizer and i put on this sunscreen as protection because it is so lightweight i don't want to add a sunscreen that is oily or heavy or thick and then put on foundation it's too much and too heavy and what i realized is this sunscreen was perfect for before makeup you know um and just blends very easily into the skin it's glowy it's very glowy you just massage it it's very nice and hydrating it's like a moisturizer plus sunscreen which is fabulous and it's spf 50 girl you gotta wear your sunscreen okay i don't care what age you are i don't care like where you're going you gotta get your spf on again number one secret to anti-aging is sunscreen sunscreen protection you have to have that on yourself because the uva uvb rays are very harmful for your skin it leads to instant wrinkles skin damage a lot of our mums have a lot of black patches over here and so many people are prone to sun damage because we don't realize the importance of sunscreen we just don't we just think of it as a pool product but recently it's gained popularity in the best way possible there are so many brands available in the market it can get confusing a lot of people love chemical sunscreens physical sunscreens or both together it really depends on what you're uh, going for um, as long as you're using a sunscreen that's it so don't get confused with the million ingredients and brands out there pick your favorite sunscreen it should say spf 50 and go for it okay don't even bother with multiple other things it can get very overwhelming you'll always find this pa4 pluses or three pluses and what is that so after some research when it's pa plus it's some uva protection when it's pa double plus it's moderate uva protection when it's pa triple plus it's high uva protection when it's pa4 pluses it's extremely high uva protection okay it really depends on how many pluses you, your product has it's higher protection all right guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video um, i hope this was simple to understand i didn't want to add too much information and confuse you take some time out go for a facial go for a um, a cleanup and i don't recommend going to beauty salons for cleanup parlors are not where you need to go for your skin problems dermatologists are where you're supposed to go for your skin problems and get a good um good cleanup something that is done by doctors and not just salon valley auntie okay because it's your skin at the end, end of the day you want to make sure everything is sterilized and everything is um, thought out and then done to your skin what else yeah just uh, maintain good hygiene uh, maintain good hydrated skin drink a lot of water i always carry my flask with me this is something i never let go of now what brand is this it's root seven <laughs> You can buy any insulated bottle or bottle and just carry this. You will never find me without this bottle. It is quite difficult to get very clear glass-like skin. It really depends on age, your sun exposure, where you come from, your genetics, your food, nutrition basically, and the products you use. So there are a lot of factors that cater to bad skin or skin that has issues. Okay, so um, yeah, I hope I helped you and I kept it simple. And let me know if you've tried any of these products and what are your favorites, comment down below. And is there anything I need to look out for because I really love uh, trying skincare products. Um, let me know. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.